You only see in them what you currently have inside the room, says Carlos Ruiz Zafon, author of The Shadow of the Wind. Hello everyone, it's The Book One, a brand new quiz show brought to you by Godman International Concept at 2W Works Limited. Book One is made possible by Feather App the smoothest online financial transaction platform and Dardam Tech Limited, your one-stop gadget shop. Welcome back. You're watching The Bookworm. My name is Pune Dada. I am your host and quiz master. Every week on this amazing quiz show, we have book lovers and avid readers turning up to try and win cool cash prizes and also claim the right to be called a bookworm. And to do that, they have to tackle questions drawn from books, books that can be found on the bookworm reading list. Right now, there are two book lovers in their house and they are ready to take on the bookworm challenge. But before we introduce them, let's take a look at the titles on our bookworm reading list. All right, and we are back. And uh, those are the titles we have on the book one reading list. We have 10 questions in all drawn from all of these books. Now let's meet our book one title contenders. We have in the house, David R&D and Jonathan Tete. David, what do you do? I'm a student. You're a student. And Jonathan? I'm a student. You're also a student. And your friends? And this isn't the David and Jonathan from the Bible. <laughs> Just making sure. Because <laughs> I want to know uh, what I'm up against. I mean, David, I'm not Goliath, but um, let's get to it. So this is how it works. Hmm? The first correct answer you give me will earn you 10,000 more. Now, subsequent right answers will keep doubling anything you have in mind. In order to earn the book one title, you have to answer all 10 questions consecutively, giving me right answers back to back, no wrong answers. Because a wrong answer will take you back to zero nine, nothing. It doesn't matter how much you've earned. I mean, by the time you get to question seven, for instance, right? you must have earned some good money. If you give me a wrong answer at that point, you're going back to zero. Now, there's a lifeline. And you can activate it anytime from between question one and question seven. Before you give me your answer for question seven, you ought to have made up your mind if you want to switch to a safe mode. That safe mode is what you get through that lifeline. Okay? Now, when you go to the safe mode, all the questions are worth 10,000. There's no doubling. No doubling of anything you earn. But, the money is safe. Whatever you earn, you keep. Even if you give me a subsequent money answer. The only catch is, if you're moving to the safe mode, you can only take 10% of anything you've earned from the regular mode. So let's say you've earned 640,000 Naira in the regular mode and you want to switch. You can only take 10% of it. But it's money you get to keep. Well, better than nothing. All right, so are you ready? You read all the books on our reading list? <laughs> hmm. David and Jonathan. This is going to be very interesting. So we go to our first question. Question one is from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And it goes thus. What creature is suppressed during the trial by being tied in a bag and sat on? Option A, a hamster. Option B, a guinea pig. Option C, a cat. And option D, a black dog. One of these will give you 10,000 naira immediately. 
Which one is it? Be a guinea pig. For that answer, you have just earned for yourself 10,000 Congratulations. Good, good way to start. Good way to start. All right, so moving on to question two. Question two is from The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Have you read this book? The way Jonathan is smiling. He knows this book from cover to cover. Well, let's put that to the test, shall we? Question two says, what does the Welshman think is in the box that Huckleberry Finn and Tom are pulling? Option A, old iron. Option B, gold coins. Option C, whiskey. Option D, junk. Which one is the answer that will double the money you have in hand? Option B, gold coins. Are you sure? <laughs> gold coins, final answer. Hmm, all right. Well, it's not whiskey. I would have thought it was whiskey, but it's not whiskey. Option C, uh, it's not option D, junk. And option B, gold coins, is the wrong answer. So the 10,000 naira you won earlier on is gone. We're moving on to question three, where you get a second chance at starting to win some money. Question three, this quote is from which of the following books? Time moves slowly, but passes quickly. Contradiction. Option A, The Round House by Louise Erdrich. Option B, On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean One. Option C, 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquis. And Option D, The Color Purple by Alice Walker. D, The Color Purple by Alice Walker. You've read it. You went through it. <laughs> and just by going through it, you're sure that option D is the correct answer. Okay. We'll go on a short break and when we come back, we'll find out if you're correct or if you're wrong. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the book world where we have the dwarf of David and Jonathan. Hey, good lord. I'm afraid of these guys. So, they're giving me their answer for question number three. Option D, The Color Purple by Alice Walker. If you get this right, you earn 10,000 naira. And option D, Color Purple by Alice Walker is perfect. So now, 10,000 naira. Okay, finally, some money in hand. Now let's see if we can double this particular amount by going to question four. Question four is from Things Fall Apart. How did Okonkwo die? Option A, he died in prison. Yeah, a lot of people die in prison. Option B, he was poisoned by Umoyu. That's a hard way to go. Option C, he hanged himself. And option D, he was shot. We go for option C. Option C. Option C, he hanged himself. He didn't die in prison. Yeah, sure, he wasn't poisoned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They shot a lot of people back there. He hanged himself. Mm -hmm. And 
by hanging himself, he has handed you guys 20,000 yen. Because you are absolutely correct. You have doubled the money in hand to 20,000 yen. Well done. Well done. Moving on to question number five. Question five is from an old classic. The Animal Farm, written by George Orwell. The question says, what Russian institution does the Raven Moses evoke? What Russian institution does the Raven Moses evoke? Option A, the secret police. Russia's secret police. Option B, the education system in Russia. Option C, the Congress. And option D, the Russian Orthodox Church. One of these will double your 20,000 Naira to 40,000 Naira like magic. Option D, the Russian Orthodox Church. Not the Congress, option C. That would be wrong. Not the educational system, option B. That would also be wrong. But option A, the secret police of Russia is very notorious. An infamous institution. But it's wrong. You are right. Option D, the Russian Orthodox Church is the correct answer. We now have 40,000 Great. Now we're getting somewhere. Moving on to question six. From the book titled Rich Dad, Poor Dad. What are capital gains? What are capital gains according to the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Option A. A pay raise or job promotion. Option B, profit from sale of property or an investment. Option C, buying expensive real estate. And option D, earning a profit for someone else's business. One of these options would double the amount you have in hand and make it 80,000 Option B, profit from sale of property or an investment. That is correct. Now you have 80,000 Naira. Okay, now you boys are fine. <laughs> I said you have in trouble. Let's carry on to question number seven. Question seven is so pivotal. Such a landmark that I am duty bound to remind you that once you cross this particular question by giving me an answer to the question here, you can no longer access your life path. You want to switch to the safe mode? Safe mode activated. Question number seven. The book, My Participation, was originally written by whom and published when? Option A, Latif Jakande, 2021. Option B, is Pa Ayo Adepanjo, 2021. Option C, Chief Bisi Akande, 2021. And option D, Olagusu Yonilola, 2021, year of publication. Which of these? Is the right answer. If you get it right, you get to add 10,000 Naira to your 8,000. That's what you have now, and you're in the safe mode. See? Option C, Chief BCR Condi 2021. Final answer? Okay. You currently have 8,000 Naira. If you get this right, you will add 10,000 Naira. That is if you get it right. When we come back from this break, we'll find out if that is the situation. Don't go away.
Welcome back. It's the bookworm. We've got David and Jonathan in the hot seat and they have opted for the safe mode, taking with them 10% of what they had earned so far. That's 8,000 Naira. Uh, the 10% of 80,000 Naira. And now they've given me their option for question number seven, option C, right? Chief BCR Kandi 2021. And that is their final answer. And that final answer is correct. This is the correct answer. We now have 18,000 Naira. But guys, if you had stayed in your regular mode, guess how much you would have paid? You would have been going from 80,000 to 160,000. Anyway, doing so well so far. So well, so far, so good. Going on to question number eight, Romeo and Juliet, a romantic tragedy written by William Shakespeare. Question eight says, Romeo left a letter for whom? Option A, his father. Option B, Mercutio. Option C, Juliet, the love of his life. And option D, Ben Volvo. One of these options will add 10,000 Naira to your money so far. of discussions. You guys aren't sure, but you have a suspect, right? You're suspecting one of these options. Which one is it? <laughs> Time is ticking. Okay, you've made up your mind on one. Which is it? C. Juliet. Hmm. Why? Because she's his lover? Juliet? Not his father? Not Mercutio? What about option D, Ben Bolio? Option C, Juliet. Final answer. Final answer, option C, Juliet. And you are done. The answer is option A. Is <laughs> Tell me what's going on in between you two. Who was going to go for option A? He was going to go. And you convinced him otherwise. So you still have 18,000. That's the good thing about the safe mode. You get to keep the money you earn so far. So you have two more questions to go. And if you get the two of them right, you can add another 20,000 there for, to what you have earned so far. So this next question is from the book thief. And it says, what is the name of the book that Lisa steals from the book burning? Option A says the word shaken. Option B, Games of Throne. Option C, The Shoulder Shrug. And option D, The Grave Digger. Which of these options is the correct one? C, The Shoulder Shrug. Option C, The Shoulder Shrug. Option C, The Shoulder Shrug is absolutely correct and you have won another 10,000 Naira. You have 28,000 Naira now. And still moving on. One last question. So question number 10. In the popular Chin Achebe's book, No Longer At Ease, who sponsored OB's education in England? Option A says, Whom of here progressive rule? Option B, Umofia's Progressive Congress. Option C, Umofia Progressive Association. And option D, Umofia Progressive Natives. 
which of these is the right answer? Option A. Option A, Umofia Progressive Union. David is very sure of that, and Jonathan is not this one. Oh, you're sure? Oh, so this is a collaboration. Okay. Option A. Progressive Union, Progressive Congress is option B. Progressive Association, option C, and Progressive Natives, option D. One of these will add 10,000 Naira to your money once so far, and we will find out if your option is that option or you're walking away with just 20,000 Naira. We'll be back right after this timeout. Welcome back. Still on the book wall, we have David and Jonathan trying to add another 10,000 Naira to what they want so far to make it 38,000 Naira. That would be good. 38 is better than 28. So, option A, Mafia Progressive Union. And that option is you have now won 38,000 Naira. Congratulations. It's not a lot of money, but it's something. It's something. Well done. Well done. Uh, so, do you still think it was the right option for you to move to the safe mode? Yeah. It was. It was. No regrets here. No regrets. Okay. Well done. Well done. So, uh, now that you won 38,000 Naira, I'll be transferring that to your account. You know, I have David's account, and Jonathan is okay with that. You trust me. I'll be making the transfer using the Feather app, one of our sponsors on the show. Feather app is an online financial transaction app, uh, platform and they are very effective and uh, they have not failed me, not yet. When you're using that app to transfer your money right away. 38,000 Naira going to David's account because Jonathan trusts me. Okay. And there, it's gone. You have your 38,000 Naira, congratulations. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, you are also going to go away with an iPad 4 provided by another sponsor of the Groupon Quiz competition, Daradam Tech Limited. Okay, now this iPad 4 can be picked up from their headquarters, the head office at the Computer Village in Peja. The iPad is loaded with books for your reading pleasure. Books courtesy of the Association of Nigerian Authors. And I hope you enjoy the books. So, David, Jonathan, thank you for coming on the show. I hope we'll see you again. It was a pleasure. All right, folks, we are done with this edition of the book one. And um, it has been brought to you by. Godman International Concept and 2W Works Limited, powered by Feather App and Daradam Tech Limited. Until next time, when I will be entertaining another book lover, avid reader, who's going to be trying to win the bookworm title and some good money in his mind.